Good night, Mr. Haley. Best widow twanky yet. Ma'am, we've just had a call from the King's Theatre. It's a bit of an odd one, this. The pantomime day, Nick Haley, has been found scattered all over the place. It appears to have been dead for months. Oh, it's a nasty piece of work. What's odd about it? Apparently, the stage manager saw him leave after the stage party that night. Get DC Smith in here. This is the last thing you need before you retire. Um, actually, ma'am, could I do this one for old time's sake? Grab your coat, Sergeant. Okay. Take us back to the last evening you saw Mr. Haley alive. Start at the beginning. Well, it was the last evening of the pantomime and the end of the winter season. And then I normally close up the theatre until the spring. Uh, on the last night we always throw a big party for all the cast and the crew. Uh, it was the usual affair, people drinking, dancing, having fun. Uh, Mr Haley was there, of course, being Mr Haley, handing out his caustic comments and, well, generally looking for his next victim. Next victim? What do you mean? How do I put this lightly? Mr Haley had a way with young girls. Promised to make them all stars exchange for, um, well, use your imagination. The problem was they all fell for it. He'd take what he wanted and then they'd never hear from him again. He was a really awful, callous man. But such a wonderful actor. Uh, well, the party broke up in the early evening and then everybody went round the corner to Abananza's flat to carry it on. Abananza? Oh, sorry. Sorry, yeah. Um, I call everybody by their stage names. It's uh, just a silly little thing that I do. Oh, by the way, I can get you both a part as PC Ping and PC Pong, if you like. So anyway, I was tidying up, making my final checks of the building, and there he was. Somehow he had managed to get himself another bottle of champagne and in true Nick Haley fashion he had gone to the stage to make his final curtain call. Uh, when I explained to him that I'd be locking up in about 20 minutes, he told me where to go and then some. I've been in st I'm a star. Oh, no. Uh, 
as I was looking out from the stage door, uh, I saw him leave from another exit. Are you sure it was him leaving the building? Well, I'm pretty sure it was him. I mean, it was getting dark and he had his back to me, uh, but I recognised his hat and his coat. And when I said goodbye, he gave me his infamous Nick Haley wave. You know, the... Yeah, well, I definitely remember it being him because he was wearing his favourite white deerskin gloves. The ones that used to belong to Clark Gable, don't you know? <laughs> he was very, very distinctive. So you were the last person to see him alive? And uh, no one has been in the theatre since you locked up at the end of the season? Uh, yes, that's correct. I'm the only one that has a set of keys. OK, thank you for your time. Just one last question. Do you know of anybody who would have a reason to murder him? Murder? No, I still can't believe it. And we want to have the details of the cost. We'll need to interview them in due course. OK, um, uh, sure, yeah, sorry, it's all over the place. Um, there's Aladdin, uh, Avananza, Emperor of China, PC Queen, PC Pong, and of course, Mr. Haley's widow, Twanky. <laughs> okay, well, thank you for your time again. Okay. It's behind you! Bye. It's obvious the mystery man in Haley's coat, hat and white gloves is our murderer. All the cast were at the party and have good alibis. And the stage manager doesn't have a motive. Nobody missed Haley for three months. Why? Perhaps we're a better understanding when they've done the post-mortem, when they've sipped through the bits, literally. I think we're in for a long haul with this one. Mm. And I, for one, have had enough <laughs> pantomimes for one day. Mm. So, not long till you get your carpet slippers on. You got any plans? Well, the missus and I are planning a holiday in the caravan. When I hear the Fondington players uh, doing Pirates of Penzance, so there might be a job for a retired policeman there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I bet you're looking forward to uh, spending more time with your wife and daughter. Um, uh, on second thoughts, ma'am, I think I'd better make it a, an early night. Quite well, don't you? I guess so, ma'am. Probably better than most. Although we can be a bit guarded at times. I found that last night when I mentioned his daughter. It's not surprising, ma'am. He never really talks about her. His daughter Leslie was a real stunner. She had all the blokes after her, including me. Until someone got her pregnant one day. Unfortunately, she ended it all by taking a massive overdose of sleeping tablets. I think losing both his daughter and his grandchild broke poor Bernie's and his missus' heart. I can see why. Poor Bernie. Thanks, Dave. I'll tread more softly in future. The eye, Marlowe.
I see our newly promoted Detective Sergeant Dave Smith is already occupying your desk and chair. Yeah, well, good luck to him. He's a good lad. I've done a full review of the Haley case. It's the same story everywhere. He's a nasty piece of work. But nobody hated him enough to be a suspect for murder. Well, all the cast seem to have alibis. I suppose the stage man is a possibility, but we'll have to wait for forensics for that. Even the mystery man in the hat seems to have vanished into thin air. There's not a lot to go on, ma'am. Any clues from the house? No, not a thing. Apparently he lived there with his mother, uh, who died some five years previously. All we found was some theatre memorabilia, some posters and some photographs. I'm afraid we have no choice but to put this one on the back burner. I was really hoping that your final case would be one of closure. Enjoy your retirement. Thank you for everything, Detective Sergeant. You'll be sorely missed. Well, thank you, ma'am. It's been short, but it's been a pleasure. Ma'am, little girl's been found murdered near Brighton. The Chief Constable wants us to dedicate all available resources. OK, let's go. Special care with that one. It's been a lovely day. I just wish our Leslie could have been here with us. Ah, uh, me too, love. Ooh. Not too chilly for you, dear. No, I'm okay. It's just my hands. Ooh, these are nice gloves. Wherever did you get them? Good night, Mr. Haley. Best widow twanky yet. Even the mystery man seems to have vanished into thin air. There's not a lot to go on, ma'am. Any clues from the house? No, nothing at all. They were a retirement gift. Used to belong to Clark Gable, you know. <laughs> 